we're here uh, making an ocarina today. Today you're going to start with uh, a ball of clay, um, about smaller than the size of your fist. I'm going to break a little bit off and set that aside. We'll use that later. I'm going to start with my ball. I'm going to split my ball in half. Using the palm of my hand, I'm going to make a pinch pot in one hand. <coughs> To get the top of it level, I'm going to tap it so it's flat on the rim. When I'm making my pinch pot, I want to make sure that it's the same thickness all the way through and in a semicircle. Okay, so there's one half. I'm going to do, make another pinch pot in the palm of my hand using my hand and pushing it around. So they're gonna be about the same size, is the plan. I'm going to tap them so that they're level, so they should line up pretty nicely, okay? So on the top, I'm gonna to get my scoring tool, scratch the surface of both of my pieces of clay. I've got my slip. I'm gonna put a little bit of slip all the way around on both sides and then I'm going to attach. Here's the tricky part. You've got to smooth out those seams so you've got a nice sphere all the way around. If you hold it very gently in your hand and then blend the seams as if it was a newborn baby kitten. Alright, so I've got a nice sphere here. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I've got two popsicle sticks. One is cut in half at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to have those ready and then I'm going to take a piece of that extra clay I'm gonna roll it into a Tootsie Roll so this is gonna be my mouthpiece that's probably too big so here's this is so here's the sphere and then here's the mouthpiece and there's what we're gonna make I'm just rolling it into that's a good looking Tootsie Roll right there mm, ready for Halloween so I'm gonna take my toothpick my popsicle stick, push it through my Tootsie Roll. I'm going to find where I want to put it on my clay sphere. I'm wanting to line it up across the top because when the air goes in, it's going to go around the sphere and I'm going to set up my reed here and then the air hole is going to go there. So, somewhat flat there. And then I'm going to just give it a push very, very gently. Not like a Rottweiler, like a, a newborn Persian kitten. I'm going to smooth it off. Now on this side, the way how these work is when the air goes in, there's a reed here where the air gets split and that's what makes the sound. So I'm very gently blending these together. And I'm going to leave my popsicle stick in here um, until it stiffens up a little bit. So it's a nice, Okay, so I'm gonna wiggle it around, make sure I've got my popsicle stick. By keeping the popsicle stick in there, it'll keep that air cleaned, uh, the, the passageway clean. If there is clay that gets stuck in there, you'll have a difficult time getting it to make a sound. So I'm gonna tap, tap it a little bit so now it's got this passageway where the air will go straight across and circle around in the belly. So my other popsicle stick, it's probably so my other popsicle stick is for, do you see where the sphere is? I'm wanting to take my other popsicle stick and make it perpendicular inside the sphere 
So on the inside, what it's going to look like is I've got this crisscross. So I'm going to make a mark. That's where one of my popsicle sticks is. And then I'm gonna take the next and I'm going to mark so I know where I'm going to put my hole. So I can see how I'm going to have my hole. So I'm going to leave my popsicle stick in there, and I'm going to remove that section. so I can see the other popsicle stick all the way through. Now on the belly side, this is where the air needs to split. So I'm just gonna tap this side down a little bit and that's gonna create a reed. I want to make sure that this hole doesn't have a lot of clay left in it. Okay, so that's how I'm going, this is gonna now look like that, and then it'll sound like this. All right, so from here, you can add attachments, you can add a head, you can add flowers. Um, I'm gonna let this stiffen up with the popsicle stick in it so that the mouthpiece doesn't collapse. All right, thanks for watching.